I want to use this opportunity to call on the committee for prayers for Go On. Number one in this committee is Dominica Olewune Chinyere Apo, Blessing Nzom, Grigori Onyejuwa, Chinedu Agui, and Presence Odohunoge. This committee will be the prayer, official prayer warriors for Go On to be alive to December. Your prayer point is to pray day and night for Go On to be alive to December. He will be alive and witness something in December of 2024. There is no other prayer point. Mazinam Dikano is going to come out in a historic manner. We have promised Biafra that the prayers that were prayed so far is working. And for the fact that Mazinam Dikano has not given up, believe me, I know what he is made of. Our most important prayer today is for Gawan to be alive to December. Let him not die. It is very, very important so that the prophecy of our eternal leader will come to pass. You will be alive to see Biafra. All right. That is a very spectacular one. Now, Biafrans all over the world, you have heard it. <laughs> Master Samuel Nebba has raised the committee for prayers. Go on, you will not die. Go on. Even if the talk say you won't die, you know go die. Go on. Even if death walk through your door, comes into your room, go on, you will not die. Go on. Even if you walk in the valley of shadow of death, go on, you will not die. See, be friends. This is a uh, instruction from Master Simon Eba. So if you know how to pray, if you are a prayer warrior, if you are on your menala, yes, a traditional man, and you know how to do incantations, anyone you know how to do, start praying for go on. The prayer point is go on will not die. Go on will be alive to see Biafra come to pass because uh, <laughs> a, a lot of things happened in the past. A lot of things happened in the past. And of course, if not for the way go on opposed the Biafra movement in that year, uh, maybe by now Biafra should have come. But all the same, he is, uh, he is not dead yet. He's still alive. So everyone should uh, pray for go on to be alive to see the actualization of Biafra nation, Biafra as a country. Yes. So <laughs> it sounds funny, right? It is not funny at all. Mazi Samonekba was serious with that. And just in case you didn't get to see the video from the beginning, I will play it again so that uh, you will under. If you did not hear everything he said, listen to it again. I want to use this opportunity to call on the committee for prayers for Go On. Number one in this committee is Dominica Olewune Chinyere Apo, Blessing Nzom, Grigori Onyejuwa, Chinedu Agui, and Presence Odohunoge. This committee will be the prayer, official prayer warriors for Go On to be alive to December. Your prayer point is to pray day and night for go on to be alive till december he will be alive and witness something in december of 2024 there is no other prayer point mazinam dikano is going to come out in a historic manner we have promised biafra that the prayers that were prayed so far is working and for the fact that mazinam dikano has not given up believe me i know what he is made of our most important prayer today is for Gawan to be alive to December. Let him not die. It is very, very important so that the prophecy of our eternal leader will come to pass. He will be alive to see Biafra. He will be alive to see Biafra. Mazinam Dekano will come out in a historic manner. Trust what Simon Eba is saying right now. In no distant time, Mazinam Dekano will be out. And when he's out... Just watch. You just watch and see the movement. But the most interesting thing right now is Biafran has commenced prayers for Go On. Go On, you will not die. <laughs> and you know what's um, also uh, funny in this? You know, they, there is a level they can make this prayer. There is an extent to which this prayer will be made. Go On will not even die even after Biafran has been actualized. Like, he will be alive for more, more, many more years. 
after the actualization of Biafra. The thing is, when you say this will not happen because it's you, and that thing you said that will not happen, if actually it is meant to be as God has orchestrated it, you, you just have to be there and see God work wonders. Some persons who would have been tools, who would have been instruments that would have been used to make this Biafra movement an easy one, they, they turned against it. They turned against it, reason best known to them. But all the same, when God wants to help a man, he do it in his own way. Yes, dear friends, don't be perturbed. Don't allow anything to make you panic. A lot is going to happen. And when all the, at the end of everything, when all these things must have happened, Biafra will come. And then you'll be glad that you are part of this movement so don't forget to pray every day as you pray for your daily needs pray for other things pray that not just go on so many persons that opposed biafra let them be alive to see biafra happen let them be alive to see the goodness embedded in biafra let them be alive to see that something good can come out of biafra all hail biafra all right, my good people, on this note, I welcome you all back to Emoko BTV, the very TV of the moment. You know, here we'll bring you updates, 247, everything happening in the country, particularly stories concerning Biafra and also things happening in Nigeria. So we'll bring you details and I would like to plead, subscribe to this channel. Please like our videos, share our videos. Turn your notification button on so you'll be receiving infos on when we drop our videos. Please, please, please don't forget to comment on any of the news headlines that burst interest you. On this note, we'll move straight to other headlines. We now feed once daily. Families cry out over high cost of living. We can't overemphasize on this. It's painful. It's painful. <laughs> As the prices of goods keep increasing, the cost of living keeps increasing. I don't know. I can't even imagine how the less privileges are going through this difficult time. But now families cries out, cry out over high cost of living. And now headsmen wipe out family of seven. Others in Benue. Imagine, imagine, imagine what is going on. Imagine in this kind of situation where everybody is looking for daily bread. There are still hard-hearted men, hard-hearted men who find pleasure in taking the lives of others. Now, a family of seven have been wiped out by these notorious herdsmen, these blood-seeking, bloodthirsty herdsmen. Look at them, and it happened in Benue State. I'll bring all the de details so that um, we'll get to know what really happened. Now let's um, move straight to this very new first news headline. We now feed once daily. Families cry out over high cost of living. Many Nigerian citizens are crying out over the hike in the cost of living as food prices, building materials, and other services soar. Some parents told Daily Post they could only feed their family members once daily. Prices of commodities, including foodstuffs, have been majorly affected by the fluctuation of the exchange rate and inflation. This was affirmed by the United Nations World Food Program, WFP, wherein it announced its reviewing lo its local food procurement. A statement by the UN country director and representative in the Nigeria in Nigeria, David Stevenson, on Tuesday said, Last week, a WPF monitoring mission in Borno, Yobe, and Kano State confirmed unprecedented inflation rates and high food price rises caused by market speculations. This poses significant challenges for Nigerians, particularly those who are displaced, are unable to farm, and are dependent on markets to assess food. 
Kai. The the thing is, I don't I don't know. I, like I said earlier, I don't know how um, less the less privileges are really faring in such situation. Everybody is not in the farm. We have people in the farm, and we have people who depends on what farmers bring to market. Not just that, the farmers these days they are being scared away from farms. They are being scared away from their farmland. So imagine they manage to take a risk, take risk, get food product produces from their farms, take it to the market, the local market, and you expect them to sell at low price after all the risk. Not to talk about um, the inflation, the currency challenge we are having, the fall in Naira, and it has led to increase or hike in food prices and other things. Now, some families can't even feed their family once in a day. It, they, some people find it. You know, as we are saying it, some people don't really understand. Until hunger comes close to your doorstep, you will understand. You will understand. Now, what is the government doing about this? <laughs> They will come up tomorrow to tell you nothing is wrong with Nigeria. They are trying to bring some form of um, reforms. They are trying to do some kind of transformation. At least, all these things you are doing, at least that should be food. Give people food. Because it is people who have eaten and survived that will see those transformations you are trying to bring. Or is it when they die of hunger and then you bring your transformation, only you will be there looking at your transformation. Hmm? What do you what 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 really is the plan of the government on this? I just hope things come by return back to normalcy. I just hope. And then finally, herdsmen wipe out family of seven others in Benue State. Let's look at uh, the details of the news. Suspected headsmen on Tuesday killed no fewer than 10 persons in Azonde community Mbasa Mbajiga Iyulu Toro district in Okum local government area of Benue North Senatorial Zone. But residents of the area put the figures at 30 or more. Among those killed was a family of seven. Residents identified them as Michael M Ntindiga Azande, Lofa Michael Ntindiga Azande, Akigega Azande, Yowose Azande, Tase Suede Azande, Tengu Tortive Azande, and Teka Shaiti Azande. An eyewitness, Teso Lobby, told the nation that. They got information that some suspected headsmen were coming to attack the community. Lobby said, more than one hour after that information, some gunmen with covered masks stormed a Zande settlement, shot at everyone in sight, and when the dust was down, 10 persons were confirmed dead, including family of seven. Msura Aga, who escaped narrowly and is taking refuge in another town, said the armed herdsmen shot at people. Thereafter, they used long knives and butchered them into pieces. They also set many houses ablaze. The caretaker chairman of Fukum local government area, Honorable Victor Loza, who confirmed the incident, said he was directed that he has directed the divisional police officer DPO of Ukum to deploy more men to the troubled area to prevent further killings. Ukum local government area, which shares a boundary with Wukari local government area in Taraba State, has been under attack from suspected headsmen. The Benue police command said it was yet to get report of the attack. Do you really need to get report of the attack? Where, where people are already witnessing to it. Where, why won't you go there and check? The thing is, it's very painful. It's very painful. I, I can't even imagine that 
happening to even my enemy. I mean, all of a sudden, people with guns come into your community, shoot at everyone, still butcher the ones that are still alive after the shot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's painful. It's painful. And thank God for Biafra. Thank God for Mazin Namdekano. Thank God for Mazi Simon Eba for their effort in ensuring that some, some like Southeast is preserved, especially now. Especially now. I don't know what would have become of Southeast if actually Mazi Simon Eba had kept quiet. But to the unfortunate ones, to the ones who were unfortunate to meet this, you people should be more careful. I don't I can't even address the government on this. I don't even know what to tell them because they are they have eyes, they are seen. They are seen. All right, my people, on this note, we'll call it a wrap. This is Imoko B T V. Subscribe to this channel, like our video, share our videos, join us on both Telegram and Facebook at Imoko B T V and don't forget to like this video don't forget to comment drop your comment on the news headlines remember dear friends are praying for yakubo go on thank you for joining us